Great way to start off a video yawning. I'm so sorry. Morning. It's that bad system. Um, I don't know what it's like for, I don't know, like, normal people or anybody else just in the world of how you get up in the morning, but, like, I guess because, like, take your medicine at night to help me fall asleep. <sighs> like, this morning I hit my alarm and I just, I didn't even snooze it. I just completely dismissed it. I'm trying to pick out some tea, too, so I'm going to see if I can multitask while I do that. Um, let me take off my hat a little bit so I can see. So, yeah. It takes me, apparently I can't multitask in the morning, forever to get out of bed. And then, I don't know about y'all, but it's like, let me see if I can try to do it. Like, when I get out of bed, it's like stumbling everywhere. And I'm like falling over, trying to get my pants on one foot. And, I mean... I get bruises all the time because I fall over in the morning when I get out of bed trying to go to the bathroom to brush my teeth and go potty because that's what my littles tell me I have to do first to wake up. <sighs> so, we did a lot of cleaning and stuff today. So, I know microwave, you're done. Stop beeping at me. I got to pick out my tea. So, I'm, or we're, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce what's the proper pronouns for anything. Um, but we are going to, there you see, there, haha, <laughs> I just said we. We did some cleaning yesterday, so that was good. Today, we are actually, I don't know how to hold the camera ever, I'm so sorry. Today, we are actually going to sit down and hopefully get to actually write some shit out and focus on our tarot, which we need to do. And we haven't been doing just because things... Throughout, like, the week and the weekend were wild, wild, just a lot of shit just popping up, you know? I mean, one good thing, I got to see my kids, so that was great, um, but then, you know, it was like that weekend, and then I got to see my kids, so it was like majorly emotional, my friend was there for support, and then, um... That same friend ended up, uh, like, a few days later going to the emergency room and committing himself back into an inpatient service, which is great because, you know, when things are that bad, call 911, call emergency, go to the emergency room because, like, I'm trying not to cry. Sorry, guys. Um, you know, it, it. I was sad. I wasn't hurt. I was just so sad that a friend of mine, you know, was feeling that low. And... None of his friends can help get out of that. I mean, sometimes friends can't help get out of that, you know? So it's it's good to go to the hospital. I'm saying I just, I just met this friend and we connected really, really well. And, you know, when I got home from seeing my daughter, I was... It was a shit show. I mean, <coughs> coughing so hard. <coughs> well, I always cough. But, like, choking on snot. So much tears. Like, they just kept coming. I gotta take three more glasses off to somewhere. And tears are just coming. I had to keep wiping them. And 
And, like, I mean, my friend met so many littles that night and, like, sat there and, and listened to everything that I explained, and it was awesome. And then to hear that this amazing friend of mine, who we, like, just met. See, I keep looking down. I need to look at the camera. Who we, like, just met two days later went into the hospital. You know, and that's that's sad. It's like he was there for us and helped us so much. Like, he wanted to be there for you. He wanted to be there for you. But it's okay because you need more than just our help. You need, like, professional help, like, to get your meds changed or whatever and to help what's going on in his life. I'm talking to him like he's here on the camera or with me. Um... I still haven't picked out my three teats. Fuck, what do I want? I already got a hibiscus. Do I want a vanilla spice or a sweet tangerine or a blueberry? I got a black tea. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get a, a green a green tea, blueberry, slim life energizes and supports a dieting program so cool look yeah yeah and they always have like little positive little notes on them and stuff so i keep like the little notes from the tea bags um so yeah i'm gonna you know heat up some tea wake up Fed the kitties already, but, you know, litter boxes and shit. You got to do that shit, like, every day. Didn't know that when I got a cat. I'm fixing to get a puppy, though. So, you know, I'm really going to have to be woke in the morning and throughout the night so I can take that bitch to go potty. Sorry. Whoa, see, this camera is so different. It's really close. Close. I'm trying to see if my bowl is too hot to grab, which it seems pretty hot. So let me get my sleep and grab it. Um, wow, y'all are getting a close-up of my face today, guys. Yeah, what up? Um, but, uh, oh my God, see, I'm so horrible. I need to be sitting at my desk filming these fucking shits. Um, where was I going with this? Morning, yeah, because I don't know what it's like for y'all people to wake up in the morning, but for us, it's like, we're so comfy in our bed and we just have we just have like weird dreams that like like we keep waking up that like people are here like talking to us like we just have like our cut co like our cousin our family cousin talked to us and I like talked back and was like I I know you're not in the room so it's like I'm like wondering, I'm like, people in my fucking head, are y'all the ones talking to me? Because y'all need to declare yourselves instead of making me think it's my family. Like, golly. So, woke up. Yay. Brushed our teeth. Yay. Took our meds. Yay. Which half of them were almost out and we speak to our doctor and like, That might need more honey. Um, I want to stay a couple of days. So we're going to tell her that we need, you know, our meds. We need them to be kind of up because anxiety level is like bad. And like holidays are coming up. And we're not good with holidays at all. Holidays are <laughs> very triggering for us. So, we're going to tell our doctor that. Um, uh, but, yeah, we're, we're up and we're going to, you know, clean up a little bit, of course, like the kitty litter box and stuff. I don't really know what else needs to be cleaned. And then, hopefully, we're going to actually be able to sit at our desk and do some tarot today to help us. And, ooh, that went way back there where I can't reach it. And hopefully we can do some DID tarot for others to be able to help others out there as well. Okay, this is apparently just a rambling morning video. So hopefully um, you can get it out of bed today and 
love yourself, that's fine. We're loving ourselves because we're learning to love ourselves. You know, heard us talk about that. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to see us like totally cry at times when we like hate ourselves. You know, like when those voices in your head are like, you're so awful. You just shouldn't even fucking exist and you have no purpose in life and you just need to die you know how like some I don't know about y'all but like we get those voices a lot um having trouble opening it I can't open it one handed there I got it um so yeah, again, morning, um, <coughs> seek help if you need it, it's okay to go to the hospital, um, we cannot wait for our friend to get out so we can give them like the biggest, 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 biggest hug and tell them how much we love them and we're sorry that they had to go in there, but we're glad that they went in so that they got help so that, I mean, you know, so. So you don't want to hurt yourself. And please, if you're out there and you have those thoughts and feelings, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself, please. I always told my friends, harness that pain until you can get like a fucking tattoo, bro. Because those feel so fucking good. And you sit there and you're like, yes, it hurts. But I know why I'm getting this and I'm getting all my pain out. And you can listen to your favorite music while you get a tattoo. Um, but yes. So, <clears throat> if you need help, don't be afraid. Ask your friends. Talk to your friends. Go to the hospital. Call 911 if you have to. Drive yourself to the hospital. Drive yourself to the institution. And tell them that, you know, it's a point in your life where you're struggling and you need help. So, yeah, we don't know how long our friend's going to be in there because we were in there for 11 days. Um, so, when he gets out, like I said, we're going to be totally excited and uh, can't wait to see him. And, yeah, hopefully we're going to do some tarot. That was, that was like all of it and everything that we needed to do. All right. Love you guys. Pete's out. Why do I see, I keep mixing pizza and peace, peace, like peace together. It must be pizza trying to come through saying peace out. We love y'all. Hats back system out. Bye. In, are you, did you end the, the video? Didn't end? Okay, let me try again. Hats back system out.